right, y'all, this is Ryan, Drezian Racing. I'm here on this beautiful Friday, starting to work on the car. Uh, I was doing some yard work a little bit earlier, um, but now I'm in here grinding, so let me show you guys what I'm doing in here. Um, about to pull the radiator out and get all the mud out of it. Um, no matter really what you can do here, you're always gonna get mud on the radiator. Um, I mean, you can see it's pretty, pretty plugged up right now. Um, I haven't taken the radio radiator out all year um, and cleaned it at all, so it's definitely due for that. It wasn't really getting hot, but it's just good maintenance. Um, I got this cooling system working pretty good so far this year. I haven't really got over 210, I think, so maybe 220 one night or two, but um, it's pretty cool. Um, doing some air filter cleaning right now. Finally got this stuff, as you saw in my last video for that, but really what I want to show you guys is back here. Um, in the last race at Antioch, um, I think I told you guys that the wheel almost fell off. And let me the holes here on the rim, they're all oblonged. And I mean, I can get a finger in there. Normally you won't be able to get a finger in there. They're pretty hogged out. And let me show you the cause of that. So basically what happened was right here, if you look at the studs, the threads are all chewed up. And that's from the wheel bouncing back and forth, wobbling on them. Um, I actually had the same problem when I first started racing this car back in 2015, I believe. Um, and I was able to get uh, just a little a die on there and chase the threads and it seemed okay. This part where it's kind of ground off, you really don't get the lug nut on there at all. The rim kind of comes up to about there anyway, so you're really using it like these threads right here, which it really matters, but I'm probably gonna have to do that again. Stick a die on there and uh, clean up these threads a little bit. I think the rim's okay. The lug nuts still fit in there pretty tight um, and they get, they get centered pretty well too, so uh, I'm gonna start doing that too and uh, getting this thing all fixed all up. All right guys, I think I found a better light to use from now on. Um, this is a snap-on uh, magnet light that has a little bit wider range of uh, motion here, so uh, I think it's a little better for using the camera and stuff. I'm still trying to figure out this whole videoing thing, so bear with me. Um, still learning little things here and there, um, but I can show you a little better now how much dirt really gets in here. Let's see if this magnet will stick. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just, it's plugged in here. You get, you get it in the fins of the rotor too. It just gets plugged up in there. So, I mean, you really can't do anything about it, but take it all apart every week and clean it out. Uh, make sure it's not getting bound up or anything. All right, guys, I want to show you how much dirt came out of this radiator here. That is all what was stuck in between the fins. I mean, this is by far the worst I've ever had it, but this is the longest I've left the radiator in the car. Also, normally I pull it out every couple of races and do it, but I mean, the amount of dirt that was in this was just ridiculous. I mean, I can make a sand cast out of this if I wanted to, really, look at this. That was all in the radiator and the fins and stuff. Um, got the radiator back in. Um, I did get some more dirt out of it. Um, I did a couple rounds of blowing it with air, uh, you know, compressed air, and then hitting on the ground, 
blowing it with compressed air, hitting it on the ground again. Got a little bit more out. I'd probably say I got, I don't know, maybe 90, 95% of the dirt out of it. Um, so it should be okay. Um, I've heard some people say that, oh, dirt track radiators are disposable. And, uh, you know, a lot of you are probably wondering, well, why don't you just replace the radiator whenever it gets all plugged up like that? And the reason is because I don't want to be paying for radiators all the time. Um, I don't have the funding to be doing that. And I don't want to replace a radiator unless I absolutely have to. You know, if the car, if the car starts overheating and stuff and it's just, you can't get unplugged, then okay, whatever. But um, until that happens, I'd like to try to keep it as, as best as I can um, before that. All right, so now we're on a new project here. Came over here to my trailer. Um, Got to fix this little plug here. Uh, what happened was I, uh, I let my dad borrow the trailer because uh, he had to pick up um, an old Corvette. He's going to put that together, kind of like a project car. Anyways, the plug fell out on him on the freeway or something, and it came off, and it just ripped this whole little adapter off of it. So he bought this one and put it on just to get home. Uh, but apparently he said that the running lights weren't working on it. So I'm going to go through here, take it apart, make sure all the wires are in the correct spot and uh, you know they got a good connection and uh, hopefully be able to fix it if not then I'm going to go out and burn some more time and go to the parts store or something and get one that will work um, so we'll see what happens with that. Got a little sidetracked here. Crash Bandicoot came over and this is the problem. When you end up teaching your girl how to you know, fix your car and how to do all the body repairs. Starts using zip ties to fix her own car. I want my car to look like yours. <laughs> You gotta do yourself some rim painting or rim prep, primer, whatever it is. Get yourself a shopping cart. Man, this thing works so good for painting. Local Rite Aid, Lucky's, Safeway, whatever. This one came with the house, so I didn't steal it. But yeah, it works great. Alright guys, so I got that rim painted up and mounted, looks okay. Um, basically the only reason I really wanted to paint it is because um, it was kind of getting all flaky. Um, the paint was flaking off and there was a bunch of rust. And basically what I wanted to do is I just wanted to kind of treat the rust um, so it doesn't really get any worse than it already is. <clears throat> because like everything else, I don't like buying a bunch of rims if I can fix the old one and make it work then uh, I'll do that. So I'm pretty happy the way it looks. Um, I had to take another one off. You guys saw me do that because um, I had a sidewall leak and I mounted this one up. Um, this one I actually had to put a plug in. Put a plug in it. And I know it's an older tire and the sidewalls do weep a little bit, um, but it'll hold air for a night of racing. Um, this is just for the left front anyways and this thing really doesn't touch the ground a whole lot to begin with so uh, i just try to get something that holds air on it you know through a race so that one's all hooked up
That'll hold for a night. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. Give it a couple pumps. Pick it up the time on it getting hot, and then I'll shut it off once it gets to like maybe about 200, 210 degrees. Because I do run a thermostat um, on this motor, so I just want to make sure the thermostat gets open, lets out all the air bubbles, and I sit overnight, let it all kind of rise to the top, and then uh, pretty much after that, it's all the way bled. All right, so we're warmed up here. So she's all warmed up, uh, it's all pressurized, so we'll crack the cap tomorrow in the morning, get all, get all the air bubbles out of it, um, should be alright. Something I wanted to show you guys um, that I didn't get in the video was um, my radiator cap here, um, when I took it off today, it was a real pain coming off, it was all boogered up, and what happened is if you guys remember the last race got up on a guy in his left rear i think yeah left rear uh, quarter panel and dented the front nose what i didn't realize is it just barely clipped the radiator and it took that cap and it kind of twisted a little bit and it uh, looked just like this one that i replaced the cap a long time ago for and it was pretty much the same scenario i hit somebody Got into a little wreck, and this guy, I don't know if you can tell, um, you really can't see it, but it's its kind of crooked. Instead of it being flat, it's kind of twisted. So anyways, I ended up just getting a wrench on it, um, a little little plier uh, action, and twisted it back, and got it to work. But that's pretty much um, all for tonight. I did get the, the trailer fixed. Um, I didn't really get a result on that, but yeah, trailer fixed. Um, it was just the wires weren't um, all the way into the connector. So went ahead and fixed that. So I'm gonna wrap it up tonight. Be sure you guys subscribe, uh, comment, and like this video. Um, and we will see you tomorrow for the big race. Thanks for watching, guys.